awesome rider review. Hey YouTube, Awesome Rider here with a review of Ghost Gadget Series 01 Condor Denwar? Denwar? I think I'm saying that right. Anyway, it is like the Little Helper Gadget Series that we've had uh, several times before, and they are back. We took a hiatus for Gaim and Drive. Um, it was a staple through Double Through Wizard. And I've always really loved the concept of these type of things. I'm glad we did take a break, just so that we didn't get overly sick of them. But it's always just kind of a neat extra collectible. And I think the ghost ones are pretty neat. So that's the review. Till next time? No, I'm just kidding. I feel like this is supposed to be out a little bit more. I don't know. But let's go ahead and take a very quick look at the box, which is the best part of all my reviews. Um, nothing too special to write home about. You obviously have a picture of the gadget there in its condor mode. The little phone on the side right there. A really cool shot of Robin Hood Damashi. Um, it shows you how it can combine with the Gon Gon Saber, which is really cool. We'll get to that. Um, yet again, showing you how it works. Another really cool... Uh, promotion shot of Robin Hood holding the combined mode with the Gongon Saber. Yet more showing you how it works in case you forgot, they really like to remind you. And then it advertises the Robin Hood ghost icon because it, it's all connected to this. More promotion shots, so yeah, that's box. Um, I'm gonna get out of the way, it doesn't seem like it's taking up too much space right now, but once we get the combined mode. So anyway, uh, this is pretty neat. Uh, it is actually like an old tiny phone. I feel like there is a cell phone one we're getting. Uh, but regardless, um, it's pretty neat to have something this unique. It's it's like an old dial phone, and this actually moves like a dial, which is pretty neat. There's no numbers on it or anything, but still, it's kind of a neat feature. And the way this sits on here actually just kind of works as a phone. This is obviously the talking part, and the hearing part um, so that's pretty neat it's just it very much so fits in with sort of a spooky ghost vibe even though ghost is kind of more a silly ghost vibe right now in the show um, but like the concept of it sort of fits that and it's it's pretty unique but that's all it really does you can pick it up pretend to talk on it pretend to dial um, the transformation it's very simple just take off uh, the headset and fold these out they're gonna become the wings and then just flip it all the way around going to move up a little bit here. And then take this, and you're going to have it so the head's turning away from you at first, because it's going to snap up onto here. And then, I underestimated how tall this dude was for this particular tripod. Um, but then just twist this around, and you have the head, and I'll pull him back. And there you have the condor, which is pretty cool. Very, very simple to do. Um, it looks like a condor, sort of, and it still has the theme of the phone kind of going on, so you can tell where it came from. And also, they spelled condor correctly this time and didn't do condor. So yeah, very, very simple to transform. Um, just kind of fun and easy way to do it. I dig it. It's really neat. And it really doesn't do much in this mode except for have wings and you can still pull the dial around. Um, but it can also combine with... Um, the sword. So to, to do that, it's very, very simple. You're just going to pull this off of here, like that, and then have it facing this way here, and then take this, fold this around, and this is going to kind of snap in here. You can kind of see um, how it lines up the shape of this to the shape of this, and there it's pretty, whoops, didn't latch it in, there you go, and there it's pretty much ready for uh, combined mode. I'm just going to set them down so you can look at this lovely white wall here. Um, and then take the Gon Gon Saber and go ahead and just get it into uh, the blaster mode. So that's way easy. And then we're going to be latching it on right here. Is this on? Let me make sure it's on. So you slide it onto here and you just got to make sure that uh, you got to do it carefully. Not because it's going to break, but because this piece here will clash with the wing. So just do it correctly. There you go. And then by pressing the button, you can activate its first normal sound. So it makes basically blasting noises with condor noises. And it's kind of like a bow and arrow crossbow type deal, which definitely fits in with the Robin Hood theme. Um, and before we just get a pan look at it, let's go ahead and you can activate its um, final attack noises still with the Ghost Driver. And that's pretty much that. I'm going to kind of get him into a, a positioning so we can get a, a full look at it. It's kind of awkward spacing. I guess, like, I was thinking smaller when I chose this particular tripod. But still, 
really, really cool. I dig it quite a lot. Um, we previously did have a feature with Double, you know, where the memory gadget's attached to, um, like, the Metal Saber and the Trigger Magnum and stuff, but it was very simplistic stuff. It added, like, a scope and stuff like that. And this isn't overly complicated or anything like that, um, but it's just kind of a... Uh, a really neat way of doing it, and it completely transforms the toy in a way that's just really, really cool, and it fits the theme, and it definitely gives it a larger scale, like when you're holding it, and you can hold this as like part of the other handle, it gives it a really, um, just a nice feeling of scale. The weapon already I thought was pretty fun, but the fact that these gadgets actually completely transform them is awesome, and it adds a whole nother dimension of play to the gadgets, so yeah. Um, overall, I really dig this. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I love the gadget series things, and this is no exception. I think the Condor's design is pretty cool just on its own, with like the old-timey phone, but the fact that it combines with the weapon and it also combines with it in an interesting way just really sets it apart. So if you already have the Gon Gon Saber, I can definitely recommend it. I think it's a really neat addition to the line. And if you like Ghost Gadgets and maybe you don't have a Gon Gon Saber, I can still recommend taking a look at it. It's still um, just pretty neat. But yeah, that, that's about it. Until next time, enjoy the crazy podcast at writersrangersrambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, Dawson Rider, signing out.